Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 14-18 that is taken from chapter number 14, Energy Methods and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is determined the bending strain energy stored in the simply supported beam subjected to triangular distributed load, EI is constant. So, you can see this is a simply supported beam having a triangular distributed loaded the magnitude here is W0 and here the magnitude is 0. So you have to find the bending strain energy stored in the beam. So let's start with the solution. So as we know that bending strain energy UI is equal to m square dx divided by 2EI and there, there is an integral from 0 to whole length L. Now we will find this moment m. So what we will do is that first step is that if you remove this pin support at this point, so you will be having reaction force. Let this point is point A. So this reaction force will be AY and there is a, a roller support at this point B. And if you remove this roller support, so there will be reaction force which will be equal to BY. So first we will find this AY and BY by using equation of equilibrium. Now you can see that this is a triangular distributed load. So when it is converted into a point load, so it will be the magnitude will be equal to 1 over 2 W0 and the length over which it acts. So it will be it, this one. And that will act at a distance of L by 3 from B side. L by 3. And this distance will be 2 L by 3. 2 L over 3. Now we'll find this AY and BY by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point B, the first moment will be due to this load 1 over 2 W0 into L and the perpendicular distance is L by 3 and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive. So I will write 1 over 2 w naught into l and perpendicular distance is l by 3 the second moment that is produced due to this a y and perpendicular distance is l about point b and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so i will write minus a y into l and their sum must be equal to zero so from here we will get a y into l is equal to w naught l over l square over 6 so from here you will get a y will be equal to w naught l by 6 so this is the reaction force that this pin support applied on this beam now we'll find this b y by using another equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so a y which is upward so w naught l over 6 minus this distributed load triangular distributed load when converted into point load so 1 over 2 w naught l plus b y is equal to 0 so if you take the lcm that will give you 6 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 1 multiplied by w naught into l will be this one similarly 6 divided by 2 is 3 so 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 W0 into L plus BY is equal to 0. So from here you can see this BY will be equal to 2 W0 L over 6. Or if you further simplify it will be W0 L over 3. So this is the value of BY. Now we have this AY and BY. So what we will do is that we will find moment. So we will cut this beam at any length x. For example, if we cut the beam over this length. For example, if we cut the beam over this length. Let this length from this point A is x. Clear? And draw the free body diagram. So let me draw it over here. That this is the beam. Clear? This is point A where you have AY and that a y was w naught l over 6 this is the length x where you cut the beam and when you cut the beam you will be having a shear force that will be acting this world v and you will be having a moment 
M as well. And you can see you have a triangular load as well at this point. Now you can see W0 is the magnitude at this end. So what will be the magnitude at this? So let W is magnitude over here. Now you can see you have two triangles, similar triangle. One is this larger one and the second one is this smaller one. So by using this ratio W0 over L, W0 over L is equal to this W over length which is which over which it x is x so from here this w will be equal to w naught x over l so at here the magnitude is w naught x by l now when you convert this triangular load into a point load so it will be equal to 1 over 2 the w naught x over l and the length over which it acts and that is x and it will act at a distance of x by 3 from this side so x by 3 okay now let this point is point 1 no so we'll find this moment by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point one, the first moment is this counterclockwise moment or reaction moment, which is plus m. So I will write plus m. The second moment due to this load and perpendicular distance is x by 3. And this is also producing counterclockwise moment. So it will be positive. So I will write plus 1 over 2 w naught x over l into x and perpendicular distance is x by 3 and the last moment is due to this load into perpendicular distance is x and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so minus w naught l over 6 into x is equal to 0 okay so m plus w naught x cube over 6 l minus w naught l x over 6 is equal to 0 so you can take the lcm so this is 6 l and that will give you w naught x cube minus w naught l x is equal to 0 so this moment will become equal to um, uh, minus w naught x cube q plus w naught l x over 6 l and when you take this w naught common so w naught over 6 l is common so you will get here is uh, w minus x cube plus l x l l x okay lx okay this is when you will divide this by 6 will be uh, l and that will give you square so it is w not l square x so here i will have l square x now you can also write it the moment equation is w naught over 6 l and that will be equal to l square x minus x cube so this is the moment equation okay now we will use this moment equation in this equation in order to find the bending strain energy so let's move we know that bending strain energy is equal to integral of 0 to l m square dx divided by 2 ei so just put the value of moment over here so moment is w naught over 6 l into l square x minus x cube and we will take the square into dx divided by 2 e i okay so integral of 0 to l it will be w naught over 36 l square into l square x minus x cube whole square into dx divided by 2ei so when 2ei multiply with 36 we will take constant outside so it will be 32 
एल स्क्वेयर सेवेंटी टू एल स्क्वेयर ई आई एन वी विल लेफ्ट विद इंटीग्रल ऑफ जीरो टू एल एल स्क्वेयर एक्स माइनस एक्स क्यूब होल स्क्वेयर डी एक्स ओके नाउ फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइड सो डब्ल्यू नॉट ओके दिस इज डब्ल्यू नॉट दिस विल बी डब्ल्यू नॉट स्क्वेयर ओके बिकॉज यू आर टेकिंग द स्क्वेयर ओके ओके सो डब्ल्यू नॉट स्क्वेयर ओवर सेवेंटी टू ई आई एल स्क्वेयर इंटीग्रल ऑफ जीरो टू एल नाउ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ दिस विल बी इक्वल टू एल फोर एक्स स्क्वेयर क्लियर प्लस एक्स सिक्स माइनस टू टाइम दिस टर्म इन टू दिस टर्म सो दैट विल गिव यू टू एल स्क्वेयर एक्स पावर फोर इन टू डी एक्स ओके फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई डब्ल्यू नॉट स्क्वेयर ओवर सेवेंटी टू ई आई इन टू एल स्क्वेयर इन टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस टर्म सो इंटीग्रल ऑफ एल फोर एक्स स्क्वेयर विल बी एल फोर एक्स क्यूब ओवर थ्री प्लस इंटीग्रल ऑफ एक्स पावर सिक्स इज एक्स सेवन डिवाइड बाई सेवन माइनस टू एल स्क्वेयर एक्स फाइव ओवर फाइव and limit will be from 0 to l that will give you strain energy due to bending so w not square over 72 e i l square now if you put the limit l so it will be l4 into l power 3 divided by 3 plus l7 over 7 minus 2 l square l5 over 5 Okay, so further simplify W naught square over seventy two e i l square, and that will give you l seven over three plus l seven over seven minus two l seven over five. That will give you strain energy due to bending. And when you solve all these, you will get at the end strain energy due to bending in the Simply supported beam comes out to be W naught square L five over nine forty five E I, which is the answer of this question. So this is the amount of strain energy that will be stored in this simply supported beam due to bending, and that was all about problem fourteen dash eighteen. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then some subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos also share my channel with your friends and help them in learning as well as and help me in growing my channel further if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching